kids or carry fear among me. I was actually diagnosed of HOCN early March. So I was made to understand that I had hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. So from then, we started moving from one hospital to the other in Lagos. When we got to each hospital we went to, we were made to understand that we need to undergo surgery called septomyotomy. And I was made to understand the surgery could not be done in Nigeria. So I went to four different hospitals in Nigeria, thinking if one could do it, the other would. But at the end of the day, all efforts prove abortive. So along the line, why shove on the internet to look for solution where we could actually get it done? So we came across the hospital Naranaya. So immediately we sent a mail, we sent all the reports with us to ask if they could do it. And immediately they got back to us telling us they've done several of such surgery that there was no problem, they could get it done for us. Fine. So I was made to travel down to India for the surgery and as God will have it, right from Nigeria, Naranaya gave me an agent that actually assisted me in processing my visa. The agent assisted me at the airport. She took me down to the airport. She was there till I boarded my plane, make sure I was safe. Then on getting to India, I had other set of people waiting for my arrival, all from Naranaya. So getting to a country, I've, and actually this is actually my first time of leaving Nigeria. I was actually welcomed in a way I wasn't even expecting it. Then the driver was there to pick me up. I was like, ah, is this how we point that? I am to like, <laughs> so uh, to cut the long story short, immediately I got to the hotel. The next day I met with the doctor. So immediately they started all the process. There was no time to waste. So I met with the doctor. The doctor actually referred me to do some series of tests, which I did. And there, and there were actually series of tests, which I didn't do in Nigeria, which I was made to do here. Actually made to understand that my heart was weak and I would be needing an implant, which I wasn't aware of. So I ran series of tests and they detected, they told me they would treat both the HOCM and make sure I have my device implant together with it before I go back to my country. Fine. So the day of the surgery came, I was admitted, but to my surprise, I was like, wow, the care I got from the nurses, I was, the joy was even there to like, wow, let me go for the surgery, let me go for the surgery. So I'm getting to the surgery room, Everybody were there, they were like, oh wow, as in, I didn't even feel it. That was the fear already ran out of me because of the care that I got from the nurses, the doctors, the surgeon. As in, the surgeon was like very free, as in, honestly, the way they treated me well. So after the surgery, even in the ICU, the nurses that attended to me, <laughs> To cut the long story short, I was, uh, after spending some days at the ICU with proper care, when I mean proper care, as in, even when I can, even when I tell them that, leave me, you don't need to pamper me, I can do this, I can do that, they keep pampering you, they keep saying, no, you need to be fine, take it easy, even when they remove stitches or when they like, want to do your dressing, each second they keep telling you, sorry, 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 as in, that alone makes me feel, wow. <laughs> so, after the ICU, I was actually taken to the admission room, which the nurses too, they really did a good job, as in, they actually helped in exercising, there were actually some uh, physiotherapists that actually helped with the exercise, so they would come, they will talk to you in a good manner. Even when you feel, no, I'm feeling pains, I'm tired. They will still encourage you, motivate you to like stand up and do little exercise. As and even the, everybody were just too good. Everybody were just too good. And to God be the glory. To God be the glory at least. I'm happy, I'm fine and less pain. No more pain.
So I'd like to appreciate all the doctors. They really did a wonderful job. Then the nurses, down to the cook, the staff, the cleaners, everybody, they were so caring. They actually didn't see us as maybe black or not their color. They treated us the same way as in, we felt we were actually at home. I would like to thank everybody and I would like to advise all my Nigerians out there or from different other countries that are facing one or two health issues. Please don't toy with your health and you can always call Narayana Health. Their service is very affordable and good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I enjoyed my stay. Yeah.